Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and More Hearts of Iron for Waking a Tiger playing as Rexist Belgium. Currently fabricating a claim against France. We are going to have it done by January 1938. Which is a good, like, what, three, four, five months earlier than I expected? So that's going to be interesting. On one hand, this could have, turn out to be a really good thing. Right? Because that might mean that the French don't have enough time to actually... Whoa! Might mean that the French don't actually have enough time to get together much of an army. Same with the UK, actually, although their navy still scares the ever-loving crud out of me. But, on the other hand, it does mean that I'm not going to have nearly as much time to uh, get the equipment that I kind of thought that I was going to need. So, haha. <laughs> This is gonna be fun. All right, let's let's uh, let's trade with the Belgian Congo to get all the rubber that I'm going to need. That should solve that problem. So we're training up a few more divisions. Once these guys are equipped, we might just set a limit here. Japan declares war on China. All right, they're going for a pretty early war themselves. That's fun. We are training up eight paratrooper divisions. Will it be enough? Seems doubtful, but maybe... I don't know yeah, guys. We may or may not be able to pull this one off. Uh, my big concern right now is that we're not going to have enough uh, equipment and stuff to actually um, get enough troops to actually be able to hold back the French. The real trick, though, again, I suspect that there's a very good chance we're going to be able to get France down just by using the paratroopers uh, intelligently. Because, if I understand correctly, so the way... I actually have no idea if stability and war support affect capitulation. I know I talked about that in the last time. I get confused about it because before Waking the Tiger came out, we had a mechanic called National Unity. But that's since gone, and I have no idea if either of these scale capitulation. What I do know is that France is easier to capitulate at the beginning of the game than pretty much any other nation. Uh, I think the rule now typically is you have to own 80% of um, victory points as a base to get the uh, country to capitulate. So with England, we're going to have to do that. France, it's much lower. It's like, what, 40% or something? They capitulate really easily. And interestingly enough, if we hover like Paris, for example, that's worth 50 victory points. I do think that if we got France and maybe one or two others, that would be an instant capitulate from them. So that might mean that 60 victory points is all we need in order to be able to beat this. The question then becomes, where can I get 60? There's 15 right there. 15, 20? Uh-huh. 5, 5, 5. 20 in Bordeaux. 5, 3, 10 in Lyon. Hmm. 5, 5, 5. What about Calais? 15. Ooh. We might actually be able to get enough non-Paris victory points that he'll capitulate outright as if we had captured Paris. We might. Um, because if there's any victory points he's going to be defending, it's going to be Paris, you'd think. Now, here's the thing. In my practice games, France is stupid. I mean, stupid. You can land your, your paratroopers right here, and he sees you there, and he's like, eh, run away! And you can just march in and take Paris. Whether we'll get away with that in this particular game, I don't know. But, <laughs> they're really, really stupid. Um, let's go ahead and set this to just one more time, because I don't think... I don't think we're going to be able to produce enough equipment. Maybe we can. All right, we'll set it to infinity for now, but once these guys are done, I think we just set it to one and let it go from there. We may actually have to rapidly deploy some of these units. J uh, my, my thought here being, I need them to be able to actually travel from the uh, Belgian Congo up into Belgium before the war starts, which might be a little bit tough. So we'll see. All right, I have some points. What should we go for? Um, conscription law, eh. I don't think we necessarily need industrial concern. We're kind of already finishing off everything to get uh, on, on time. So what we should probably do is go for partial mobilization, right? We're fascist. This shouldn't hurt me in any way. Consumer goods. Whoop. That's, that's thunder again. If you guys hear any crinkling sounds in the back, that's what it is. I apologize. Hopefully it won't get caught in my audio. But once again, Virginia is getting more storms. Good lord. What is with this year? Anyway. Yeah, um... Yes, partial mobilization. Better consumer goods and stuff so we can make better use out of our uh, factories. Try to get these military factories up and running a little bit sooner. All of that would be good. Uh, we are going to go ahead... Oh, there's nothing else we can build there. Never mind. That's fine. Um, we do need things like more aluminum. Now, here's the problem. If I trade for the aluminum, we don't get as many military factories before the war begins. And I kind of need as many as we can get. We are going for armament effort, but that can only do so much. The question then is, do I start building more transport planes, or do I get a lot of fighters and try desperately for the air superiority? Maybe we go for extra transport planes. We do want to have 
all of them ready to go the instant the war begins. Because here's the thing that I've observed, right? The AI does not always scramble its fighters immediately. It sometimes takes a little bit of time. Which means... Let's go ahead and grab the artillery. Which means... That if we have set all the paratroop drop orders so that they launch the minute the war begins, sometimes you can land before the air superiority works against you and you can get all the things you needed without getting air superiority. Sometimes. Doesn't always work. Um, so if we can have enough transport planes to launch all eight paratrooper divisions instantly... That would be a pretty sizable advantage. We do need some more aluminum now if we're going to do that, though. So let's go ahead and trade for some more. Construction now. We only have seven factories working for this, but it will be done by October uh, of this year. So give it a little bit longer. Troops, let's set this to just one because I don't think we're going to have enough time. These three can finish off. The rest will try to train up. The paratroopers are almost done. Improved machine tools. Good. I do like having the extra efficiency. Radio? Radio could be good. Here's the thing. Do we even have transports? We don't. Am I able to transport my troops? I can't do naval invasions without this. But can I at least transport across the English Channel? If I own a port already? I actually don't know. I've never tried it before. I've never not had the naval tech. Um, I don't want to take the risk. Uh, this may be totally unnecessary, but I don't remember how the mechanic works. It could be that we're able to just transfer our troops regardless. As long as we own a port and we're not technically invading, we're just sending them across the ocean or the channel, um, then maybe we're fine. But at the same time, maybe we're not. Do we want to take that risk? I don't think so. Air superiority, we are going to have transport planes up to 10 of them set up over here. Okay, so they're all going to be set up in this direction. That'll be fine. We are running low on oil. Uh, I'm going to trade with Iraq. Thank you. Did we finish a factory? We did. Can we build more? No. Alright, would have loved to have gotten some radar tech ahead of time, but the fact that we're actually able to fight uh, France so early is throwing me off right now. I really did not expect this. I expected that I'd be able to get at least a bit more production. Usually I have at least two or three hundred fighters by the time we do this. And yet, somehow, doesn't appear that that's actually going to happen. All right, so the last of our troops are indeed getting supplied and trained up. They're going to go home. I wouldn't mind having extra support equipment because that would allow me to get um, some support artillery, maybe some uh, recon companies, engineer companies for my paratroopers. A lot of things that I really would like to have, you know? Paratroopers are done. Cancel this line. All right, so that's eight paratroopers ready to go. Go here. We're going to turn you to a nice dark blue, and all of you are going to go over here okay modify government um do we want to go for more conscription i would say yes except we're going to go to war relatively soon how long do we have not long we got a couple of months may want to go for the extra in uh, infantry division attack and defense instead since we don't really have the time to research more tech we need every bonus we can get I don't suppose there was... This air superiority. Hmm. I went for the political power. Maybe this guy would have been better. Infantry, offense, defense. I mean, this just guy's better, right? It's always better. Mm. I don't think we have anything that would allow us to make our paratroopers better, which is the real trick. Alright, let's go ahead and get some buffs for our infantry. Dispersed industry is done. Um, okay, so if that's all out of the way, let's go ahead and pick up the radio next. Good. Um, one thing I would like to do, we haven't started making any artillery, I just realized. We don't need this much infantry equipment. We're producing plenty. All right, let's actually reduce this a lot. We're going to make more fighters, and then we're going to make artillery. That's all I can do right now. We only have 13 factories. Yikes! Okay. So, I'm going to try producing more of these, so that we can actually try getting some air superiority, even with a couple hundred planes. I mean, this early in the game, it makes some sense. And artillery, if I can get enough of them together, I wouldn't mind reinforcing some support artillery for our paratroopers. Give them the extra soft attack. Maybe it would work. Maybe it wouldn't. Not sure. Um, Alright, so we finished with all of our armament efforts. We could go for the extra civilian factories. Considering we're using more and more of them up for trade, that would probably be a good thing. Free military factory, we will put it on the... What do we want? Honestly, I kind of want more support equipment, because I would love to get recon and engineering companies. That might be even better than the artillery. Alright, let's try for that. 
It's not a lot, though, is the problem. Um, it is going up in efficiency a little bit by little bit. 0.143% per day. Still not a lot, though. Um, we don't have to reinforce these guys for much longer. Once this is done, we should be able to reinforce all of our armies. Maybe I can. Maybe I can get the paratroopers to have some recon companies and or engineering. Engineering would be better. That would allow me to entrench. Now, here's the one advantage we got going, right? I've talked a bit about going early against these guys. The thing about the Democratic Nations and the Allies in particular, one of the reasons they don't go to war with Germany super early on is because they don't have a great military, but they are able to build up an industry very rapidly. So the AI usually focuses on building up its industry so it can produce a large army later, and that's what gives them the advantage when they have to fight the German Reich. If they were too strong up front, then the balance would not work very well. So... They may not have much of an army. I mean, I see 28, 29 troops right now. I have 41. I mean, that alone, we might have enough of an edge against them. It is really, really hard to say for sure. Even so, maybe we should start planning out our air invasion. We actually need to get ourselves a general. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a new commander. They start off as level 1 with, like, no stats. They're terrible, but really, what can you do? What's your trait, by the way? Cavalry. Oh, well, that'll be useful for the paratroopers, no doubt. All right. So if we set up for... Calais was an important target. Actually, wait, hang on. Yes, I want to cancel the order. Let's make sure we do this right, one at a time for now. Maybe we'll be able to hit a total of eight locations. Maybe. Um, we do have one assigned here, right? Nope, I messed that up. There we go. Okay, got that. One will go from Ghent to... Let's go right outside of Paris. Maybe that'll be okay. Um, you are going to go to here. You are going to go to Lyon. You. Let's try going here. Just trying to think of any uh, good attacks of opportunity. What may end up having, happening, though, is this is a complete fail. And if that's the case, I may have little choice but to uh, save spam, kind of reload, and find another weak point. What are the odds we can land over here or something? What's the higher value target? Five? Five. It doesn't actually matter. Okay. This is our last one, then. Um, five. I'd love to get into a place like Bordeaux, but really, what are the odds he left that undefended as well? I would love to land in Brest. That'd be fantastic. What about here? Normandy? Fifteen points. We might be able to risk that. So I'm going to land just outside Paris. Yes, we do have a thing here. Maybe we'll be able to march into Paris and make him capitulate if getting all these victory points alone is not enough. We're not sure yet, though. How much longer until... Oh, we're only a couple of days away. So we don't have to declare the war instantly. Not quite instantly. We actually do need to deploy these guys now, though. We don't have time. They have to go home. We can, uh, we can train them all later, right? So we did not get nearly, like, any meaningful amount of artillery, did we? 46 means nothing to me. Nothing to me, I tell you. Okay, um, so... Here's the thing. Do we declare war on him immediately, or do we wait a little bit? The war goal doesn't expire for a little while. Usually it tells you when it expires. It only usually lasts, like, two months, though. And if I let it expire, I'm gonna have to justify for 240 days all over again. So we now have kind of till the beginning of March to actually declare this war. How many uh, transport planes do we have? Four! Oh, that'll work. <laughs> Alright, I'm trying really hard to make some more, but... Um, it is only going to do so much, and we're producing only 3.83 fighters per week. At least I have some infantry equipment. That'll be good for attrition. Oh, we have an extra factory. Uh, I will put it into... There's not much point in putting it into this, to be honest. We'll do some more artillery. If we can successfully finish this, then we're going to wish that we had it. Oh, look, we can build more military factories. That's nice. Okay, interwar artillery is done. Good. If only I had any artillery. <sighs> All right, it's 1938. We could get started on the computing machine. I would love to get other things instead, but if we're going to win this war, I have to think about the long term as well. There's no time for us to get the uh, better weapons and stuff like that before the end of this um, war is going to happen. So we might as well think in the long term, assuming we're going to succeed, so that I'll be able to counter Germany at least at some point. I'd love to at least have delay done. 22 days. Anschluss of Austria. Okay. Um, none of this is going to matter. Aviation. Eh. Let's go for the army effort. That'll be fine. 
If I did want to add in something, like let's say an engineering company, we do not have any in storage, so that's a straight no. It will do nothing. What about artillery? How much are we missing? 17. We're not missing much, believe it or not. I'm going to add the artillery. That extra soft attack could make all the difference. You don't know yet. And they are green now. Okay, so we need to train them up. Get their experience back up to regulars so they don't fight at a penalty. And then let their organization get back up. Before we launch the war, we now have two weeks to get your, um, two weeks to get your uh, organization back up. And then the war has to begin. So the real question now... Okay, here come the troops. Good, they managed to make it. So they're not going to die. Thank God. So the question is, can we get France to basically instantly capitulate? And if so, can we turn this right around and land in a port in the UK and then immediately transfer my army over before they have a chance of being intercepted and all killed? We may lose a few divisions along the way. I'm going to say that we should count on that. It's highly unlikely, though not impossible... That the AI uh, is not going to have any ships in the English Channel. It's very likely they do. Let's go for the support weapons. Maybe the little bit of extra uh, to break through in a t defense eventually will come in handy. Radio would have been nice, but oh well. Let's get the delay done. And once delay is done, basically I'm delaying the war for delay. Huh, there's an irony there to be sure. Uh, we can afford to get one more guy. Attrition sounds nice, but we're going to be landing on towns that provide supply anyway. So no. Uh, manpower is tempting. Alternatively, there's attack or defense. Defense might be good. Because that allows our paratroopers to kind of entrench a bit longer. Uh, alternatively, manpower. I mean, I do like offense. A lot. The best offense is a good defense. Not helpful for paratroopers, but when we get to England, the paratroopers are just going to get me a beachhead. The rest of the guys have to do the heavy lifting. We're going to go for the attack and see if it works. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Shut up. I'm trying things, okay? Did we finish the delay? We're about to, though. Okay, delay is done. We now have to start our war. Mobile defense. Man, that would be nice. Oh, boy, howdy. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to make one quick modification before we get started on this. I'm going to change this over here, because I just realized that this is only worth one victory point, which is nothing. I would rather get the five down here. All right, so we're going to land right outside of Paris. We're going to land in a few of these different cities and pray to God that this works. Launch, declare the war, don't call in Germany. Go, 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 go. We landed in Calais, okay? We're, in, we're next to Paris. He is leaving Paris. Okay, go to Le Havre. Um, or however you say it. Okay, we landed here. Go up this direction. Um, let him leave Paris. Let him leave Paris. Gone. Okay, go, 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 go. Is the... What, what is with an AI that abandons its capital when it sees that the enemy has arrived? It doesn't make sense, I tell you. All right, so we are moving on to all these other victory points. Can we get into Paris? We're so close. Oh, there he goes! France is capitulated. Okay. Ooh, okay, it worked, it worked. Okay, okay. We didn't even have to land in Paris. I took no losses. That's how good paratroopers are. Okay, France has capitulated. Good. Can't celebrate quite yet. We're going to get all the troops back up to here. All of you. Because we now need to launch an invasion of um, the UK. The question is how best to do this. Uh, okay, so my thought is... England's not going to have a lot of troops at the beginning, though they're going to have a heck of a navy, but we can't do anything about the navy. We just have to pray to God... That the Navy's not all right here. It probably is. Uh, they'll be defending London, Birmingham, maybe a couple of ports, 5, 5, 10. They'll probably be here in Cornwall. Definitely be in Sussex. Probably in Dover as well. But I don't think they're going to be here in Norwich. We might be able to land in Norwich. And then immediately grab one of these ports. And then what happens is I only have to transfer my army over three sea tiles... Before we get here, which means there's a lot less time for their navy to respond and catch me. Maybe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tell all of them to garrison right here. Right at this port. Um, and I know that it's too many. But here's my thought, right? He can't catch all of us. He can only catch most of us or some of us. So if I overwhelm him with the sheer numbers coming through, that increases my odds of actually getting at least 15 to 20 units in England. At which point, I think we have a very good chance of winning. 
If we trickle them in, there's a very good chance they just keep getting sunk. No, Germany, this is my war. Shut up and get out of here. Nobody likes you. Look how much infantry equipment we have now. Amazing. All right, we're going to continue making more support equipment. We are going to make fighters and artillery out the wazoo. Uh, dockyards, we actually have those now, huh? Okay, convoys it is. Do that. Now that we have much to work with, but it's something. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. How are we going to do this? We are going to do... One... Two... Three. And then... Probably send one more, actually, here. Just an extra, just in case. I'm going to save the other four in reserve, though. Because here's what we might be able to do. I'm pretty confident he moves his capital over to Liverpool next, because that has the highest victory points. Maybe, before he has a chance to get the air superiority, we can land some troops in Liverpool, and that's a good way to not only cut him off, but also grab a lot of victory points. Maybe. Liverpool. Here. And you two, I'm not sure yet. Maybe we send an extra one here and an extra one to Liverpool to be safe. I say safe. Nothing is safe at this point. We're going to find out. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do a quick save here because this all could go horribly wrong. But let's see if this actually works. Okay, okay, here we go. Free France joins the Allies. So that's to be expected. Um... Troops are on the way. They're a little slow. Do we freaking just go for it now and just see? I'm a little bit worried that if we do that immediately, then he's going to get... Here's the weird thing about air superiority, right? It says we don't have air superiority over the English Channel in southern England. That's because we're not engaging anyone right now, so I don't have any intelligence of the region. So that means that my paratroopers actually can launch, because they don't know that there's death waiting for them. If we moved our planes over here, and we were dogfighting them, then I'm pretty sure it would say we don't have air superiority, and it wouldn't let me go. So the question is, do I want to launch now before we land here? Because once we land, maybe then I have the intelligence and it says we can't launch any more paratroopers. I'm not sure if that's how it's going to work, but I think I'd rather take a second, get them all together, and then just see what happens. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Okay, four is enough because that's like all that we have as far as transport planes anyway. Go, go, go. Wait, he can't now. Why? Air support. Hang on. Oh, we don't have air support over my own region anymore. Right, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Oh, whoop, wait. Okay, he left for just a second. Maybe he left overnight. That's all it took. We have troops. Ah, we have troops. Go. This is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Launch. Launch. Oh, there's ships. Okay, there's 83 ships in the, 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 the Straits of England. Channel, English Channel. Yes, that thing. He's only able to catch two of my ships right now. The rest are on their way. Go. Oh, wait, two more. Go. Go! Land! Dang you! Okay. Okay. Wait. He's caught six more. Uh, there's a hundred ships now. Okay, it's not a lot. We're probably about to lose, like, a lot of troops. But this is still a freaking win as far as I'm concerned. So what we're gonna do... We landed in Liverpool, too. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna try going... to this. And I'm gonna tell you to go. I really would hate to lose 10 troops right now, but maybe we can escape, maybe we can't. Any chance my fighters can do something to, like, convince them to leave me alone? Dogfight them out of there? I doubt it. Be amazing, but I doubt it. Go. Seven troops currently trying to defend in London now. Um, we can cross off here at Hull, though. And one of you can go up to Newcastle, Edinburgh, and Glasgow. Because there's a pretty good number of uh, victory points over here, too. We can try to hold this line. Maybe it'll work. The important thing is we did get some troops, but I suspect we're about to lose a bunch. There goes, like, four. Yep, there goes the rest. Okay, so we lost quite a few troops. That was to be expected, though. Let's see if we can quickly just grab all this. Go here, 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 here. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to launch any more paratroopers, so we're kind of stuck with what we've got, at least until... Uh... At least until he gives up on the air superiority there. Um, we got too many troops. This cavalry can just kind of be his own thing. You can just sit tight. Um, don't do much. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Hey, can we grab this airport real quick? Because if he doesn't have... 
Air, if he's using planes there, I'd like to just get rid of it. Okay, hang on. Let's actually set up a front line right here. All of you get assigned to this. I want you to still try grabbing the airport. You try to get to Air, uh, Newcastle, but the important thing is that we hold on to Liverpool. He doesn't have any troops here right now, so I suspect he's throwing everything he's got at London. Which, the paratroopers being an idiot and should not be a trying to attack right now. Can you get into this, though, and work toward on a surround? That would be helpful. Uh, we also desperately need to get more supply. So if we can get... Oh, wait, his navy's blocking supply, isn't it? Uh-oh. Uh, admittedly, that's going to make things a little difficult. Uh-oh. Um, we need supplies, which means we need to take London. Or Birmingham, or something. What are the odds? I have no air superiority whatsoever. That was to be expected. But I desperately need supply. Oh, we're not taking attrition anymore. Okay. Hang on. Did he give up? Go there. See if you can just cross. Just try. I think that... I mean, if the Germans are able to get across, then maybe we can get across now. Try going here. See if we can grab his air base. Let's stop him from getting any more um, air superiority, if possible. Okay, the Germans are apparently landing up here, though there's not... Oh, hello. There's nothing they really can do. There was a single troop up here. We can't get to Glasgow. Actually, well, maybe we can hold down here. We, we might be able to defend that. Push him out. That'd be nice. Yeah, so the Germans aren't in this war, but they're still going to defend my front line, apparently. Which I find somewhat hilarious. Can you get to Birmingham? Because that's a lot of supply that I want. Maybe. Whoop. We got troops. B maybe. Can't quite push it out. Okay, hang on. We're getting a surround in on London. If we can get London, that solves the problem. Radio! Reinforcement rate. That'll help. Okay. Let's get the improved infantry equipment for the extra soft attack. Factories. We have a few to work with, apparently. Uh, we're going to need a lot of infantry equipment so that we can get more support companies eventually, and, um, a lot more artillery. Those are the things that I know that I'm going to want. As far as oil, let's trade with the Soviet Union. I don't need any aluminum, apparently. That's awesome. Um, I'm getting all the rubber I can. We're going to need more. Uh, no one easy to trade with, really. Doesn't make sense to trade with British Malaya, because British Malaya and British Raj are surely going to get called in on this war sometime soon. One would certainly think. How about Portugal, though? Do that instead. Okay, how are we looking as far as capitulation? Actually, not bad. 44% of the way. Okay, we're getting really close to being able to beat the British. We got enough troops across. We lost, like, 10 divisions. God save their souls. But, if it is enough for us to eventually uh, take over the entire UK, I think it is well worth it. Okay, we have London. That means supplies are no longer an issue. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, we apparently need infantry equipment. Why? Did we run out? We had a lot. We had 20,000. What'd you do with the stuff I gave you? Nobody knows. Okay, we've joined up our land here, which means we are good to go over here as well. This guy retreated. Okay, so what I may want to do then is extend the front line, cover all of this. Blue, get rid of your orders here. The paratroopers, six of them, we lost two of them apparently. We did lose them in the straits. Dang you, British! It's alright. Set up a front line here. And your offensive line is to go to all of this. Get to Glasgow. Alright, it's not much. Um, in fact, you know what, we're going to assign this cavalry up here as well. Um... Maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. So we've lost a lot, but we've got France down, and we're making good progress on the UK. Now, we'll come back to this next video, because we're out of time. I do need to be careful not to capitulate them too quickly, because I don't know if we're going to be able to puppet like Canada and stuff if they haven't actually been called in on the war. It says they're here. It's not in the war, but can be called into it. That's what we have to be careful about. I, I want the UK to call in their vassals and get desperate. So what that tells me is we need to be careful not to take too many more victory points. So we're going to want to hold the line. We'll come back to that. In the meantime, this is a good place to end it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.